Hello, my name is Umar. Sorry for my bad English. I'll try to explain to you how you can clone your uh, Nokia N800 to SD card. I'm using one gigabyte. Uh, and you can use more, you can use 2 gigabyte, 4 gigabyte, and up to 8 gigabyte or maybe 16 gigabytes, up to you. First, uh, please make sure that you back up all the files that you need and to use this to, uh, in your own risk. I'm not responsible for anything or any damage happening to your tablet. First, uh, I want you to remember to use one memory card and that's just one memory card which means you can install a memory card in and in the X here the X slot it got to be one memory card you either install inside the slot or the X outside so I myself gonna install it outside in the X slot and keep the one in for storage so make sure it stays empty here now close the door the next thing I want you to do is to go to a website called penguinbait.com uh, I'll write it down for you this website has the tools to barge in your SD card and install uh, the necessary files for clone your SD. So we go to Penguin Bait websites or here, and you can see you scroll down where it says Install Tools, and you click in that and save it to the flash card. That's very important. You have to save it to the flash card. Remember to the flash card and not to the SD card because the SD card will be barged and formatted so you have to make it uh, installed or saved in the flash card that built in with your tablet so we go ahead and save it and as you can see the download start is less than 2 megabyte it depends on your connection maybe take 5 minutes here I have high speed so it takes just a couple seconds after finish downloading you exit the page then you go to the file manager and then to the documents where I saved it then click on the link says install tools to install the application a few seconds and the installation will start you click OK and OK and as you can see the installation start this will take a couple minutes sometimes 10 minutes sometimes a little bit more than that there's some known issues with some SD cards that when you start installation after a couple uh, minutes you will get error message says the memory corrupted or can format if that happens to you you just click OK, then go ahead and uh, go back to the documents and click the install tools again. So, other words, you just redo it again. Then you maybe will have again the message says corrupted or formatted, but after you click OK, you will see the installation will continue. So, if that happens to you, I just heard some cards that have this error. I myself had it with my 1 gigabyte SD and when I formatted it with Windows XP with FAT42 I didn't have that issue so maybe you need first to format it with Windows XP with FAT42 before you start that I don't know if this has to do anything with it but I myself it works with me I formatted it with 30, FAT42 and went ahead with the installation as you can see the installation is still going and this will keep, uh, I think will continue for about 10 minutes, 
some demos than that really uh, just gonna have to wait and like I said just remember if you get the error message of the memory card corrupted or can format you just have to do it again just go back to the file manager then documents then you click the install tools again and you will see it's going to continue even the error message may show up again you just click OK and it's going to continue uh, I'm just going to have to wait until the installation finish then you click the OK message then we're going to restart and now after about six minutes uh, you can see it says installation successfully installed so you go ahead and click OK because the installation done and you exit the application manager and we're gonna go ahead and restart our tablet while it's restarting now I'm gonna let you see my two cats they're enjoying the view Jordan say hi the black one is Jordan and the orange one is Nelly and I don't think they're interested well let's go back to our business now we turn the tablet on again and you will see the menu where it's going to ask you uh, as you can see it's asking me if I'm going to boot from the SD card or I'm going to use the flash memory card that built in with the computer uh, with the tablet sorry so you use the button here to go up or down where you want to boot so I'm going to choose the MMC card or the SD card and you're gonna click the OK but before that you know there is uh, an advanced option if you click the home key and hold you will go back uh, to the advanced options I never went there I don't think I need so I think what, what you get from the home key is the USB network recovery or whatever so I'm gonna boot from the SD and let's see how it goes we go to the SD and click OK as you can see it says booting from the MMC12 that's mean the SD card and we're gonna wait until finish booting I'm gonna ask my cat how she feels today so Jordan how do you feel today? Uh, I think she said crap And here you go. Now you have the OS 2008 clone in SD card. Well, some people would ask, why would I even bother to clone my OS to SD card? Well, it's simple. Some people want more memory for the storage media and footer and some people will have it a good idea for a backup system and some people just do it for the heck of cloning you know it's up to you but it's really good idea for uh, having more space and storage in your tablet and you know it's gonna be really good idea when you try uh, a beta uh, applications that they may be harm your tablet so if any damage happens it's going to be to the SD card there is your choice and uh, now you got the cloned SD and like I said you can use that 1 gigabyte uh, 2 gigabyte 8 4 it's up to you if you have any problem please go to the website called internettablettalk.com and in that website ask you a question and you will find a lot of people who will help you uh, it's not my website uh, I'm just uh, I just got this uh, torture from there where I learned it from so I want to share it with you if you make better than this video please post it so others can enjoy it uh, again I'm sorry for my bad English but I just don't speak English good day